We're with uh, the Casitas Municipal Water District, and we're on San Antonio Creek, uh, snorkeling for uh, trout. Jordan, what's Andrew doing back there? Uh, just getting his snorkel wet and uh, preparing himself mentally. <laughs> I snorkeled this shallow section right here because a lot of times fish like to hang out in uh, overcuts of, of uh, trees and riparian. There's a fast section right there, you can see a little waterfall or riffle we call it. Uh -huh. And fish like to hang out right at the, the base of those so there's more oxygen. Especially at this time of year, there's a lot of fry and they're only like a centimeter long and so you can't even see them from here. but. Under underwater, everything's magnified, and you can you can see them really. No babies. I saw two arroyo chub in that section of the creek, and I report that relay that information back to Jordan. Um, even though they're not steelhead trout, a rainbow trout, we keep a record of all the fish in San Antonio Creek. They range from about two centimeters to maybe 15, 12 centimeters. We call this the San Antonio Rip Rap Pool. This is the, the Rip Rap that gives it its name. And it's a popular hangout site for um, steelhead and rainbow trout in San Antonio Creek. So I'm gonna jump in here and record fish sizes, numbers, and life histories, and relay that to Jordan. And uh, I'm gonna try and take a little bit of underwater footage too while I'm under there. So after I went through the, <clears throat> the rip rap pool, I saw six trout from 13 to 17 centimeters long and their life history stage was PAR, P-A-R-R, -R, and it's a uh, um, beginning stage of their life. Uh, we saw one up near Robles, uh, 63 is what we measured it at, um, and we nicknamed him Lefty because he was missing his left eye. Any fish that we see several times, we usually have a, a nickname for him. I've snorkeled like in Fiji and Hawaii and stuff and everything's all colorful there. But when you snorkel in here with like high flows, you know, you've got 50, 100 CFS pumping and, uh, and it's just so raw, like they're just turbulent and you see you come up on a fish and in the current and it's, you know, feeding and it's, it's just fighting the current and you see all these, you know, little ones and then all of a sudden you'll come up on a steelhead. And, uh, and they're just like massive compared to all the, you know, the normal par that you see. They just, it, it looks just giant because, and they're just so powerful, but they usually get spooked and just go upstream real fast. But um, that's always- It's exciting. It's really exciting to see. And that's what keeps me coming back. <laughs>